getting started. Uh, most of you are well aware that um, Monterey is in the process of negotiating uh, our bulk cable and internet packages, and we've reached out to um, Xfinity or Comcast, and also Hotwire. And Hotwire has agreed to give us some presentations on their company. So that's what we're having these meetings for. So I would like to introduce uh, Jason McLean here, and he will uh, give you the information for our Hotwire. Thank you so much. Again, thank you all for attending the town hall, uh, and thank you for having me here at Monterey. Uh, again, my name is Jason McLean. I'm a business development executive with Hotwire. I've been with Hotwire for the last eight years. Prior to this role, I was the operations supervisor for this region. This region expands from Boca Raton on up to Brevard County. In this region, we have over 250 associations that have Hotwire as their TV, internet, and telephone provider. So as an operations supervisor, I oversaw all the technicians that maintained all of our properties and serviced each and every one of our customers. Prior to that role, I was a launch supervisor. So as I move through the presentation today, I will be referring to our conversion or implementation phase as our launch process. That's what we call it here at Hotwire. Uh, as a launch supervisor, I'd be given a property just like this one right after the contract was signed and I would oversee all of the installations. As I move through the presentation today, you will see that, and I will explain that, a lot of the things that we do at Hotwire are completely different from what they do at other providers. I've been in the telecom business uh, since I was 18 years old. I started out in Dover, Delaware, and Westchester, Pennsylvania, climbing telephone poles for Comcast. I did a lot of underground construction for Verizon Fios. I also owned and operated my own telecom contracting company right out of Coral Springs, Florida, operating in Coral Springs, uh, a little bit of the Margate area, uh, all through that section of South Florida, but also in Houston, Texas, and also maintaining that contract with Verizon Fios. So that 20 plus years of experience uh, can really allow me to make those direct comparisons and give you the different nuances about what we do at Hotwire. So as far as Hotwire Communications, we are a 20-year-old company established out of Bala Kenwood, Pennsylvania, uh, owned and operated by Michael and Kristen Karp. As of today, we are the largest privately held telecom operator in the state of Florida, and we're also the seventh largest telecom operator in the entire country. About nine months ago, we took on a minority partnership with the Blackstone Group out of New York. If you're not familiar with Blackstone, you can look them up online. Their stock ticker symbol is BX. They are a rather large portfolio investment company, and they have a market cap just under $150 billion. So prior to our involvement with Michael, and, uh, not, I'm sorry, to, with our involvement with Blackstone, each and every project that we did was funded directly out of the pockets of Michael and Kristen Karp. So with our partnership with Blackstone, they're going to be funding our expansion as we move throughout the United States. Today we are in 17 different states. The newest state that we've just uh, moved into is California. Just north of the LAX airport is a property called Playa Vista. Playa Vista is 6,700 single family homes and we're slated to launch their uh, first shovel in the ground to last installation complete in about 12 months. By the end of 2022, we will be expanded into 20 states. Again, all of this expansion is funded by the Blackstone Group. What really separates Hotwire from all the other providers in the market is the fact that Hotwire is always first to market. We were actually the very first company to do fiber to the home, well before any of the other providers. Also the very first company to do IPTV, which is Internet Protocol Television. The first company to offer gigabit internet service over 15 years ago, which gigabit internet service is still state-of-the-art speeds. Today we're the first company to provide 10 gigabit download speeds. If you're not familiar with gigabits versus megabits, you may have signed up for 100 megabits from your current provider. Well, we can offer up to 10,000 megabits per second download speeds. Now that is totally unusable speed, but what we do is we future-proof neighborhoods by upgrading all of the infrastructure to fiber optics, making bandwidth not an issue. 
We're actually in the test phase of 25 gigabit download speeds now as well. The business model at Hotwire is the exact opposite business model that you would see at some of the large telecom providers in the sense that we only do business with HOA and condo associations strictly. I live in Port St. Lucie right off of Becker Road outside of an HOA, so no HOA, no Hotwire. Again, we only do business with condo and HOA associations. We found a niche in the market. There is no provider that provides a service that ultimately becomes an extension of the amenities package. We are a white glove company and we roll the red carpet out for our customers. Down in Fort Lauderdale, we have a 185,000 square foot hot wire technology center. This building is a hurricane category five rated building. Inside of this building, we have our customer service, we have construction, we have IT, engineering, Network Operations Center, and also our data vault. This is an actual picture of some of the engineers in the Network Operations Center. The engineers actually have visibility to every device connected to our network. This device right here is called an ONT, an optical network terminal. It's very fancy language for a modem. This is a fiber optic modem. Every single customer's home has a modem just like this installed. Each one of these engineers has visibility to each one of these devices. If these devices go offline, our, en our engineers right there in the network operations center can see if X amount of them went offline and we start reacting immediately. On the other side of the wall from this picture, the opposite side of the wall from this picture, they actually have monitors that cover the entire wall. We're not only watching for equipment, but we're watching our entire, our entire fiber optic network. We own over 15,000 miles of fiber optics that are already in the ground in the state of Florida. What really attracts associations to Hotwire is our service level agreements. Because we own our own fiber optics, because we have visibility to the entire network and all of the equipment installed on the network, we actually offer the most robust service level agreements in the business. If you're not familiar with what a service level agreement is, it's the language in the contract that holds our feet to the fire when it comes to performance. So what does that look like? In your current uh, cable contract with the association, there's one paragraph in that contract that outlines service level. In our contract, it's actually eight pages of the contract. It is what you would see in a business to business relationship. What does that look like? Well, first and foremost, all of our call centers are local right here in the United States. You're never gonna be calling abroad. You're either gonna be calling into Fort Lauderdale, Atlanta, Georgia, or Balakinwood, Pennsylvania. We don't outsource any of those calls either. So you're gonna be speaking directly to a Hotwire employee each and every time. In that service level agreement, it outlines that we guarantee a less than 60 second hold time when you call into the call center. We're actually running under 30 seconds as of today. So under 30 seconds, you're getting an actual human being on the phone that works directly for Hotwire right here in the United States. They know exactly what's included in your bulk package because unlike the other providers, we only deal with bulk properties. So every one of our customers has a bulk package. Back to the service level agreement. Let's just say you called into the call center and needed a technician because all of your services are out when you woke up this morning. Per the service level agreement, if you need a technician because all of your services are affected or if you have a phone related issue, you get a technician the same day. Another big difference between what we do and some of the other providers, I owned a contracting company for quite some time. I've never seen a provider use exclusively in-house technicians. You'll never have a person pull up to your home in a vehicle with a sticker slapped on the side or a magnet and the person look like they may have slept in the vehicle the night before. We use all in-house Hotwire employees to service our customers. The services that we offer. Our set-top box. This is our set-top box or cable box. We engineered this box in-house and partnered with the Android platform, also TiVo. This box is the most robust box you can find in telecom today as far as what's inside. 
This box is built with four gigs of RAM and a quad core processor that's more powerful than this laptop right here. And that's because we're building for the future. The biggest conversation in telecom today is streaming. A lot of people are saying, well, eventually they're going to go streaming and you're not going to need a cable provider. Well, I would agree with that, but I think the timing is completely off because I know our customer base and my customer base is doing a little bit of streaming, but they still want to watch the news at six o'clock. They still want to watch the football game on Sunday. They still want to watch the local on the eights to see what the weather's going to look like. But at the same time, they're starting to watch a little bit of Netflix. They're starting to watch a little bit of Amazon Prime. They're starting to watch Yellowstone on Peacock, one of my absolute favorites. So what we've done is we've created the perfect marriage between traditional linear television watching as far as channel surfing, and we've married that with the ability to stream. So inside of this box or on the actual platform, you're going to have access to the Google Play Store right on the TV. So of course you could push channel six, you could push in uh, channel 431, get your HD channels, but you're also going to be able to download any app that's available on the market. There's over 5,000 apps that you could put on the set-top box. We took it even a step further with the voice remote aspect of it. So this is a backlit remote. You will be able to see it at night. It also has the voice button. The voice button is actually the Google Assistant. So it's not just a remote listening for commands, asking for specific channels, which you can absolutely do. If you want AMC, HGTV, you could just ask for those channels. But you can ask this remote any and every question in the world. For instance, what is the capital of Belize? It'll tell you instantly. You could also say, what is the commute to Fort Lauderdale? At the bottom of the screen, it'll pull up the GPS map and give you the exact uh, time to commute to Fort Lauderdale. So again, you have access to the Google Assistant right on the remote. Some of my favorite features of the set-top box. Hands down, the community channel. Every association gets a community channel with Hotwire. When you turn your television on and you go to the menu, you will see Monterey Yacht and Country Club right on the menu. It really gives you that resort feeling when you turn your TV on, especially when guests come in and they've never seen Hotwire before. They turn the TV on and they see the name of the property right there. It makes you feel like you're in Orlando. When you go into the community channel or into the community portal, it gives the association or property management the ability to upload any information or announcements about the property. May it be a town hall happening in the clubhouse. May it be events happening at the clubhouse. With the community portal, they also get the, uh, uh, the ability to send out three direct messages to the set-top boxes. The messages will pop up on the screen. When we change uh, the actual slides on the community portal, you're not going to get a message that there's a new, there's a new uh, screen up, but you're going to be able to go into that periodically. The idea here is if there's an emergency situation, like a water main break, they could actually put that information right on your set-top box and let you know how long you need to be boiling water. So these are the abilities of the community portal, which really change everything at the property as far as getting information out to the property. My favorite slide that we pre-populate for the association is an actual picture with the contact information for your dedicated account manager. Every association has one point of contact as far as someone that's ultimately responsible for the customer experience there at the property. All of our account managers are local. We cap them at about 10 to 15 properties because we create a partnership with the association. The account manager for Hotwire would come into the clubhouse multiple t times per month just to check on property management, check on the board, check on residents that may need a little more assistance so everyone has access to that person that is responsible for their account at the property. Another really cool feature of the set-top box, Replay TV. With Replay TV, you can actually go to the TV guide and instead of seeing what's coming on later today, you can actually go backwards in time, three days on the TV guide. You're going to be able to watch anything that you would like on 92 of the most popular channels as if it were live. So let's just say it was The Price is Right was on two days ago. You wanted to watch it. You're just going to go onto the TV guide, go backwards two days, hit OK on The Price is Right. It starts playing immediately as if it were live. You can also fast forward right through the commercials. 
You, we also extend the ability to fast forward through commercials to our on-demand catalog. It's really annoying when you're trying to watch a one-hour show and they force you through 15 to 20 minutes of commercials. So fear not, you can fast forward right through those. Again, over 5,000 apps available on the set-top box. We also have several apps for you to use to interact with, one, your account, two, your content on your set-top box. While you're away from the home, if you're seasonal, you're going to be able to pull up the Hotwire app, and let's just say you want to see what's going on at Monterey while you're up north. Well, you can go right into the community portal right on the app. You're also going to be able to add Add and take away services right on the app. So let's just say you're coming down for the season, you're having guests over, and you'd like to increase the amount of channels that you have while your guests are here. Well, you can go right onto the app, upgrade the amount of channels. When they leave, you could simply just turn those channels off, completely free of charge. There's no cancellation. You're just going to be billed for that one month of having the upgraded service. So while you're here, the bulk package will be on. You can upgrade from that bulk package to anything that you would like, and when you leave, you could simply turn those services off. You can also use our Fission Go app to interact with your content while you're away. If you subscribe to DVR service, you're going to be able to log right into the set-top box, set DVR recordings, and you can play back any of the DVR recordings as well. You will be limited on live television watching when you're away from the home, but you're still going to be able to interact with your DVR function. Let's just say you're seasonal and you have a smart TV up north and you'd like to take advantage of your channel lineup with Hotwire. Well, every channel provider now has their own app on the Play Store. What you're going to do while you're away is you go onto your smart TV or onto your Roku device or onto your Fire Stick and you download those apps that correspond with the channel lineup that you have. Just let's throw a couple out there for instance. Turner Classic Movies, NFL Network, apps like so. You'd be able to download those apps onto the TV and we provide Hotwire credentials as far as a username and a password so you'd be able to log into those apps anywhere in the country and watch content from your Hotwire channel lineup. We also, uh, as far as internet, sorry, Hotwire is actually rated the fastest internet provider in the world and that's for the last five years and that's because of the architecture of the fiber optic network that we build. There are many other fiber optic providers in the market today just because of how successful we've been with providing fiber optics to the home. All fiber optic networks are not created equally. We build what's called a 10 gig GPON network. The 10 gig GPON network allows each and every end user to get up to that 10 gigabits of download speeds, but it's also a passive network. The benefit for the association is that all the way from Fort Lauderdale to the property, there is no voltage going through the fiber optic lines, which makes our entire network impervious to power outages. So with other providers, they actually need, or copper-based providers, they need power insertion every several miles. What happens is if there's a power outage, let's just say in a neighboring town, but there's power at the property, it could very well happen that there's no TV, internet, and telephone service because of that power outage down the line. Hotwire is not concerned with having power anywhere because it's all impulses of laser light. That network is what's responsible for the internet speeds. We provide every association with a Wi-Fi 6 router. We use the Euro Pro Wi-Fi 6 router. Wi-Fi 6 simply stands for the sixth generation of Wi-Fi. With the sixth generation of Wi-Fi, you're going to get an increased footprint of coverage per router. You're also going to get those multi-gigabit internet speeds. But the most important technology advancement with Wi-Fi 6 versus 5 is simultaneous connectivity and communications to up to 75 devices at once. Right now with Wi-Fi 5, each device is in line taking turns communicating with the router. It may seem simultaneous if you have multiple devices on online communicating with your router today, but it is not simultaneous. It is milliseconds, but at the same time with Wi-Fi 6, it is instantaneous. The benefit to the resident. 
The set-top box, the cable box that we use, is Wi-Fi 6 as well, completely eliminating the necessity to use any of the internal cabling inside the units. The set-top box communicates back to the router wirelessly, so no more cable lines to the set-top box. The amount of stability, the quality of service is actually better over Wi-Fi 6 than through a cable line. So again, all cable lines are now obsolete. Of course, we have digital voice telephone service if anyone uh, is interested. You can absolutely keep your current phone number if you would like. We also have security products. If you're interested in a video doorbell or a Wi-Fi thermostat or security for your unit, we have all of that as well. Some of the accolades that we've gotten over the last few years, I would say our most proud accolade is that Kristen Karp, our president and CEO, was nominated and actually won Entrepreneur of the Year for the state of Florida. She's an absolutely fantastic person. She's very involved with the day-to-day -day operations at Hotwire. Again, I've been here for eight years and I've watched the company grow and this is her baby and she takes very, very good care of it. As far as our performance when it comes to customer service and customer encounters, this is what we call a net promoter score. The net promoter score system is the gold standard when it comes to rating customer experience. The way that it works is if you've ever been on a phone call, I'm sure you have, and you're calling into customer service and that automated message says, if you'd like to participate in a survey after the call, please press, that is the net promoter score. That's actually a third party that's rating the customer experience, whether it's good or it's bad. The way it works is they'll ask you one question. Would you recommend this company to someone else or something along those lines? You get a one to 10 to rate that company or the likelihood of you uh, extending a referral to that company. The way it works is if you rate it one through six, that company's done a horrible job. If they rate it a seven or eight, that is absolutely neutral. A nine or a 10 means that you're doing well, that the company's actually uh, providing the service that they're supposed to and going above and beyond. Well, with this slide, you'll see that the industry average for telecom providers is a negative two. I've been a cable guy my entire life, and cable guys have not always been that popular when it came to customer service. But at Hotwire, things are completely different. We're actually running at a 53 on this slide, but today we're at a 67. So from a customer experience perspective, we do not compete with any of the other providers at all when it comes to customer experience. Our, co our competition when it comes to customer experience is Apple, Amazon, and Netflix because we've outperformed them for the last two months as far as happy customer interactions. The biggest question from your perspective is, what does a conversion like this look like? What are you gonna do to the property? Are you gonna dig up the roads? What are you gonna do inside of my home? So I wanna go over that entire launch process with everyone. So as far as the launch process, of course we're gonna have to be bearing fiber optics throughout the entire property. This is something, uh, being that I've owned an underground construction company, I was extremely impressed when I saw how Hotwire did things. I'm used to running cable plows, directional boring rigs, uh, hydraulic missiles, and hand digging when you absolutely have to. Well, at Hotwire, we actually hand dig everything. So let me explain how that looks. Every association gets assigned a dedicated project manager. That project manager will be reporting directly to the board and property management as far as their progress. They're gonna be providing a high level timeline that's gonna explain where we're gonna be digging and when we're gonna be digging and some key target dates of completion. The hand digging. What they do is they actually will cut the sod out of the trench. They'll lay the sod to the side. They'll dig the trench 18 to 24 inches deep. They'll put the fiber optics into the trench. They backfill and tamp same day and put the sod right back on top. 99% of the time the sod takes and within a week you would not be able to find the trench line. We're not gonna be adding any additional above ground pedestals that you may see from some of the telecom providers. 
All of our infrastructure is completely underground. We use underground vaults. They're round, about 18 inches, and they're completely flat to the earth. So no new boxes in the yards. We will be digging this fiber optic network around the entire community and bringing fiber optics into each and every unit. I'll go over the in-unit uh, installation in just a moment. So we will also have on site a launch account manager. The launch account manager is the face of the entire implementation or launch process. We don't want this to become the board's project. We don't want it to become the property manager's project. This is Hotwire's project. So that launch account manager is the one person that's primarily responsible for the customer experience for each resident during the launch. So that person will be on site here at the property five days a week to answer any questions or concerns that residents may have. So you can stop in and just uh, meet with that launch account manager. While we're doing the construction and getting fiber optics to each unit, we're going to be deploying an entire team of what we call residential sales specialists to the property. They're going to be doing one-on-one -on -one consultations with each and every homeowner. What one unit owner may need, another unit owner may need a little bit more or a little bit less. So we want to do each consultation one-on-one, -on -one, either over the phone or in person. Prior to the pandemic, we'd like to do each one of them in person so we could lay eyes on the unit and make sure we're covering all of the telecom needs for that resident. We also do a side-by-side -side bill comparison during that consultation just to show how much money you're saving by bundling TV and internet. That consultation also establishes your account. So now we're ready for installations. Again, each installation is done by a hot wire technician in a hot wire vehicle with hot wire uniforms, hot wire issued tools overseen by the hot wire quality assurance program. The quality assurance program is extremely astringent at hot wire because we don't believe in some of the common telecom installation tactics like seeing cables uh, or AKA spaghetti factories. We don't want to see any cables stapled to baseboards going up and around door frames, hanging from the walls. Aesthetics is extremely important at hot wire. All right. Another key to the success of the launch, getting a brand new set top box and a brand new remote might be really easy for some people, but I know my customer base. It is a little bit of a challenge when you're getting a brand new remote, a brand new set top box, all new menus. We have an entire team of what we call fission educators that come to the property and they spend time teaching everyone how to use the remote. We go through every single menu on the set top box, how to access on demand, how to access the apps, how to download those apps, how to get into your community portal. Even if you need help setting up a new voicemail, we'll help you with that. Because of the pandemic, we've also created a studio at the Hotwire Technology Center where we have personnel that do this over Zoom all day, every day. We can also set this up in a classroom setting just like this. We would pass out remotes, we'd have the set-top box up, and we would tutor everyone on how to use the, pro the products. Now that service is available throughout the entire duration of the contract because we know some people may come down one season, go back north, they have a totally different provider, and they may need a refresher when they come down. Or let's say a unit changed hands and you have a new resident moving into the property that's never had hot wire, where, well, we want to get them up to speed too, so that's available at any time. As far as the in-unit installation, this is underground fiber optics. Most of this is protection. At the end of the presentation, if you'd like to come up, I will show you that this one strand right here, if I could get it, I know you probably can't see it from your seat, but there's one little strand here. That's the fiber optics. It's the same width as a piece of hair, and it's made out of glass. So most of this is all for protection. There is a piece of copper on it, so we can hook up what's called a tone generator, and we can locate it in the ground. This will be brought up to the back of each and every unit, to that back lanai, to the closet that's right back there. We'll go into the closet with this kind of fiber optics. And then we transition to this kind of fiber optics, which is for an in-home application. 
This is called Invisalite fiber optics, AKA invisible fiber. It's actually installed on that baseboard right there. So if you guys would like to take a look at that at the end, absolutely come up. Again, it's invisible fiber because you can't see it when it's installed. So we're gonna go from that back closet on the lanai into the unit with the invisible fiber. We're gonna follow the baseboard to the first TV location in the living room. That's where we're gonna put the ONT, all right? The Wi-Fi router is going to plug into the ONT right there in the living room, providing Wi-Fi throughout the entire unit, and each one of the set-top boxes connects wirelessly back to the Wi-Fi 6 router. So each TV is going to need one of these Wi-Fi set-top boxes to function. So the entire installation, again, we're going to be bringing fiber to the back lanai patio closet. We're going to transition from the hard fiber to the invisible fiber, go right down the baseboard to the main TV in the living room. We'll be installing that ONT there with the Wi-Fi 6 router, and then everything else is wireless from there. The entire installation will be scheduled for a two-hour time frame. Some will take a lot less. If you have a unit that's been remodeled, fear not. These installations are custom to each and every unit owner's dynamics. So if we need to put that ONT device somewhere else, we absolutely can, but that is the game plan for the units. The biggest question, why partner with Hotwire? Well, associations partner with Hotwire because of the level of service, hands down. We serve over 850 associations currently across the nation. They're with Hotwire because of that service level agreement but ultimately because we become an extension of the amenities package offered by the association. So at this point, I wanna go over these pamphlets, all right? Number one, this one, that goes over the package. So keep in mind that we're still in contract negotiation or package negotiation with the association. So this is what's on the table as of right now. This can change if they decide that they want to move forward with Hotwire uh, up until that contract is signed, but this is what's on the table as of today. So this is what we call a double bulk package, meaning it has TV and internet in the package. With this package, it comes with two of the set-top boxes with two of the voice remotes, totally included. This comes with the digital access channel package. Now, transitioning over to this sheet of paper, which is the channel lineup, the digital access package is every channel from this mid red line, right in the middle of the page, all the way up. That's every single channel in there. There's a little red uh, section that says subscribe to HD and Git, and there's another red section that says music channels. Those are also included in that digital access package. All right? As far as the internet, internet is included in this package. There are no rental fees for the equipment with the bulk package. 300 by 300 internet speed. That means 300 up and down. Uh, is everyone familiar with why you need symmetrical internet speeds as far as the same speed up and down? I'm gonna tell you anyway. So the reason you need a decent upload speed is all for communicating and sending information out of your home. Now when is the biggest time that you're sending information out of the home? That is when you're on a Zoom call, or a FaceTime call, or a video conference of any sort. Right now, with a copper-based provider, you're capped at only 10 megabits per second upload speed. If you're on Wi-Fi, it's more gonna be like six. Well, if you want to be perceived in HD on the other end of your video conference call, you need at least 25 megabits per second. So if you're doing a FaceTime or a Zoom, on your current provider right now, it's gonna be in standard definition if you're connected to Wi-Fi, because there's not enough upload speed. With Hotwire, we're offering 300 megabits upload and download, so you'd be able to have over 10 people in the home, all on Zoom or FaceTime at the same time, all projecting in HD. So the people on the other end will see you in HD, all right? We do have the retail bonus offer, which is for the phone. So this is not part of the package, but it is a bonus offer that we're offering during the installation phase, where if you sign up for phone service, you'll get it free for the first year. All right? 
So that concludes uh, the package. At this point, I'd like to open it up for any questions that you may have. Please raise your hand and we will bring you a microphone. Yes, because we're recording this, please wait until I get the microphone there. First one. Okay, one of the questions is about the uh, hardwire phone. And if you don't want it, do you still have to pay these taxes and fees? Great question. So the question was, if you do not want the phone, do you have to take it? Are you going to be charged for anything? The answer is no. If you do not want the phone, again, the phone is not part of the package. It is just an offer that we're making at the beginning of the launch phase. And just to clarify, if you do take the phone service and it's free for the first year, you will have to pay the taxes associated with that, which is right around $4.50. Yeah, hi. I'd, I'd like to just know a little bit more about the amenities and just get to the bottom line is like, what is this whole thing going to cost everybody that lives here? Great question. Unfortunately, I can't discuss cost in this meeting. This is all in. If I want to stay with the same provider that I have, do I have a choice or do I have no choice? Great question. So with any bulk package, the association is going to be billed for every single unit, but you always have the choice. Of having a, provider. yes, for free, everyone for has. Free. For free service? No, sir. So the, the entire community would be transitioning over to paying another provider for those services. But you as a resident, let's just say you wanted to stick with your current provider, you absolutely could. Yeah, Some, I could stay in there for free. Not for free. No, you'd have not to pay them out of pocket. Well, I'd pay them out of pocket then. Well, that's not when I, when I came here, I, I rent. I've been here almost three years, going on three years now. Got it. And when I got it, one of the amenities was free cable. That's why I took Right. It. So you would get free. And free water. So you would basically get cable and internet provided by Hotwire instead of, it, correct, included in the association for dues. For free, no installation cost, anything like that? That is correct. For this package, you would not pay any installation costs, no rental fees for this package. So you as a renter, you would benefit by getting TV and internet included with your rent. So I wouldn't have to, there would be no cost to me if Hotwire takes over this whole project. That is correct, sir, for this package. Stay, I could still stay free, free paying. Absolutely. No, you would just have a no lot better service. No okay, Absolutely. no charge. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. I have two questions. Uh, Russ McIntyre, Building 22. Yes, sir. Um, I noticed that the smart bar learns your preferences for, for channel selection and types of programs. I'm curious to know whether or not you will be selling that information to other commercial providers so that, like when we are on the internet uh, and go to uh, various sites, we suddenly start receiving emails or advertising for the products we were looking at. Is this kept confidential to you or is this released commercially? Great question, and that is very annoying when that happens. Uh, again, just to reiterate the question, so with the set-top box, there is a little bit of artificial intelligence built in that starts to learn your watching habits. So let's just say, and I, I always use prices right because that's one of my comfort shows along with uh, Law & Order, but let's just say you watch Law and & Order and Price is Right all the time. When you turn the TV on, it's actually going to suggest shows that you like based on habitual watching habits. So his question was, do we take any of that data and resell it? The answer is absolutely not. We do not, we're not in the business of selling any of your metadata. And that goes for the internet usage as well. And that's a very good point because a lot of other providers are what I would call double dipping by taking what you're interested in and selling it to market, marketing companies so that they can market you products. We do not uh, engage in that activity at all. Thank you. My well, second question is that we are only seasonal here, but during the year my wife and I live at two other locations, each for three or four months. One internet provider in New Jersey, uh, Fios, uh, Verizon Fios, uh, provides only the internet for us there. Another provider in Maryland, Comcast, provides, again, only internet. Is your service an app that I can download onto my 
Amazon stick, Fire Stick, uh, and then I have access to all of my television uh, that I have and paying for here in Monterey, in New Jersey, and also in Maryland. So the question is, is it an app that you could download to your smart TV and take advantage of all of your TV uh, channel lineup? The answer to that is yes and no. So we do not have an app for your Fire Stick, but you do have an app for your smartphone, your computer, your iPad, and you can cast that to your TV. Uh, you're also going to be able to, on your Fire Stick, sir, is download any app that correlates with your channel lineup. So let's just say you subscribe to HBO. You could download HBO Max right to that smart TV or to that Fire Stick. You're going to have your Hotwire username and password. You could log right into uh, HBO and watch anything that you would like. So as far as the individual apps, you're going to have access to that. The Hotwire Fission app, you can have access to that along with all your DVR content, and you could cast that to the TV. There's several different ways of casting. You can cast Apple to Apple, as far as Apple TV with an Apple device. You could do Samsung to Samsung. You could also use Chromecast to cast from any device to any television. Now, just being completely honest, we do have an app that's coming for smart TVs and Fire Sticks and Roku. I just do not have a date for release yet. Okay, I don't want to bore anybody, but I have a, quite a few questions, if you don't mind. Sure. Some of you already answered. The first thing is the, uh, the time frame. I know our cable vision uh, runs out June 2023. I'm assuming they're going to negotiate a, negotiate a contract to make sure, if we do decide to go with Hotwire, that it'll be definitely done by June 2023 regardless, because there would be a chaotic if it wasn't done. As you can see, the problem is that. Great question. That so, so, yes, that's a deliverable in the contract. We'll actually do all the construction and we'll do all of the installations prior to the current contract expiring. The big benefit to the homeowner is if you subscribe to Internet today on your own, once we install you, again, this is prior to the contract in, expiring, you're going to be able to cancel all of those services with your current provider. So you're going to be active on Hotwire with TV and Internet cancel what you had with your other provider before. Another question that, that comes up, I just want to add to that. Well, what if I'm paying uh, for a bundle package that I signed a two-year agreement for and I'm in the middle of you know, that, that contract and they're threatening to give me a cancellation fee? Well, if they do hit you with a cancellation fee, you're going to bring that paid receipt to the on-site launch account manager. If you subscribe to anything above the bulk package, we're going to credit your account for that. If this is all you're taking is the bulk package, we're going to cut you a check for that cancellation fee. Uh, the other thing you said, you, you re, uh, said we get two boxes. Uh, and a lot of us have two bedrooms and a living room. So three boxes would be very advantageous to us. Now, what would that be an extra charge at this time? Again, this package is not set in stone yet, so it could change, but let's say this package was what the association decided to move forward with, and you needed an additional set-top box, it would cost you $6.99 per month. Okay. And I'm include, you're, how about the DVR? The DVR is not included in any of this, or no? I, At this point, no. Okay. And you're on, you have on-demand, though. That's yes, good. sir. Okay. All right. And you said there's a rep on site. I know because a lot of us are not computer savvy, and for example, some of us are seasonal. So, for argument's sake, say building over here has five people full time and four people or five people come in at different times, like one in January, one in October. What do they do? Are they going to be catering to each individual as they come down? Sure. So, uh, I think what you're asking is if they're not here during the in infrastructure upgrade? Correct. So, if you're not here during the infrastructure upgrade, fear not. We're still going to reach out to you to do the consultation, most likely over the phone. We'll get your account established. And we're contractually obligated to do your installation within 48 hours of notice. So as long as you give us two days heads up, we will do your installation as soon as you get back. Okay. That was a, that's a main thing. Yeah. Okay. That's good. I don't want to bore you with these questions. I just no, no, no. They're great things. questions. Go ahead. They're very, I'm not savvy on all this stuff. Okay. Uh, so they have to come into your... Okay. You explain that one. Never mind. That's okay. How about the cable wires that are in, the, in your houses now? They're all over the place. There's got cables coming in. Great question. There. Do you remove them, or do we have to remove them ourselves? Or do, I'm sure Comcast is not going to come back and do that. Great question. So we will not 
be removing the cable lines that are currently in the unit, especially the ones that are outside. That All that stuff is owned by the current provider, anything outside your home. The stuff that's inside your home, you can absolutely remove it after we've done the installation. A lot of the technicians are extremely nice, so if you do have a cable line that's kind of strewn across a door frame or stapled to a baseboard and it's not painted over, they would most likely uh, cut it if you requested that and pull it off. Now keep in mind, if you've painted over an exposed cable, when you just pull the cable off, it's going to pull some of the paint off too, so be very careful with that. Okay. And again, like I said, I have AOL as my engine. Now, can I keep that, or do you have to change anything to Hotwire? Say you have AT&T or whatever, or an internet AOL, for example. That would, you could keep the same. It would not have any effect on that, correct? Great question. So your current email account can absolutely stay. Uh, so if you have AOL, you're good with that. Even if you have a Comcast email account, you, they're obligated to keep that email account up even if you're not a customer. There's only one stipulation. You have to log in at least once every 90 days to keep it active, so that shouldn't really be a problem. And I'm assuming that there's going to be a long-term contract, correct? Yes, sir. All of our initial contracts are 10 years. Okay. Now, what do they do for, like, for future expansion? I know you said you had number five and then went up to number six. It doesn't change like the phones change every other month. Correct. Is that well, what's the, for the planning for the future, like five, six, seven, eight years from now? Great question. So inside of the contract and part of the contract language, there's a section called the technology clause that outlines any new technology that becomes available, we will make it available to the association. So the next question that comes with that is, is it free? Uh, well, no provider can just say we're going to give you everything free that comes out that we don't know about yet. But there are things that become organically included or organically free. So we have a property down in Palm Beach Gardens called Frenchman's Creek. We've had Frenchman's Creek for over 15 years. They actually just signed a renewal with Hotwire for another 10 years. Being that we launched that property 15 right. years ago, if a technician showed up to a customer's home because, let's say, their remote stopped working, well, 15 years ago, we didn't have voice remotes, so they organically would get an updated brand new remote because the technicians don't have 15-year-old equipment on their trucks. Same thing with the routers. They're not carrying around old routers, so they would organically get that new router. But, of course, some things may come right. with a small charge. I think I just got one more, and then I won't bore you on that. Uh, suppose you have to replace your boxes. Where do you have to go, or do you send them to you? Like, I know right now, all we got to do is go right up the street to change boxes. How do you do it for, through Hotwire? Two, two uh, answers to that question. So with Hotwire, we don't believe in our customers ever coming to us for anything. We're contractually obligated to respond to any request within 48 hours. So let's just say you're down for the season and you ordered an additional set-top box. Well, we're not going to have you come pick that box up. We're going to send a technician to install it free of charge. Let's say you're leaving for the season and you don't want to pay an extra $6.99 per month while you're not here, you would simply call into the call center and request that box be picked up. We would send a technician to pick up that box completely free of charge. Returning your current equipment with your current provider, you're going to have to take them back to Comcast or to a UPS store. We actually go over the best process during the consultations, and we also note, make a note to let everyone know keep the receipt when you turn in your equipment to your current provider. And also, if you have a smartphone, take a picture of that receipt. It's happened a few times, not every single time, but it's happened enough times that we make sure we remind people to keep that receipt. And it's not a bad idea to kind of just take a look at the numbers on the box and make sure that the receipt and the numbers match up because we've heard of people being charged for equipment that they absolutely return. So keep I, the receipt. I, yeah, I didn't quite understand that. Say, for example, that box there, it's no good anymore. How do I get to replace it? You're going to call into the call center, and we're going to send a technician out to replace oh, okay. it. okay. And one last question, and I don't I, this is that you don't deal with cell phones at all, correct? No, sir. We're okay. not a cell phone provider. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I know you said something about uh, the cost hasn't been uh, decided yet. But my big concern is a seasonal person. Will there be a monthly charge when I'm not here? So th yes, just like you have a monthly charge when you're not here for your cable TV, yes. 
No, no I, I, I go to Comcast to pick up my uh, router, and I have to pay X for that. I don't, I don't pay a monthly fee now. I think I might have misunderstood what you were saying. You mean when you're away for the season, yes. will you be paying Hotwire for anything directly? Okay, so the answer to that is no if you would like. So let's, let's just go over what your options would be. So this bulk package with TV and Internet would be on all year. You'd be paying for that through your association dues, okay? Anything that you would like above this package, you could simply turn that on when you're down here. And when you're leaving, you could simply turn it off and not be paying for anything. Are, are, are you a customer that would be getting a phone line from us, a landline? Uh, no. Okay, so you wouldn't be paying anything. Now, let's just, just in case there's someone out here that might be seasonal that has phone service that wants to keep their phone number even when they're not here. Because if you cancel your phone service, you're going to lose that phone number. So let's say you've had that same phone number for years, you're seasonal, you could put that one service on seasonal suspend, so you'd only be paying $6 a month for the phone service and keep your phone number. The, the point I'm getting at is that while, when I, when I get back down here, will I be charged different? You know, do I get an extra charge, I should say? No, uh, only if you wanted to upgrade from this package. So let's say, let's say you come down for the season and there's a channel and another package that you'd like to watch. You could order that while you're here, and then when you leave, you can just turn it off. So, that, so I will be paying for that whole package all year round? Yes. Okay, thank you. That's not too good. So just to speak to that a little bit, as far as having TV and Internet on all year when you're seasonal. So I, I, I'll always definitely uh, sympathize with anybody that is in a position to where they're paying for a service that they're not currently using uh, when they're away. So TV service really doesn't have much of a benefit, you know, when, you know, my folks live in Delaware. So let's say I was seasonal and I'm going to Delaware for the season and I'm paying for TV in my home in Port St. Lucie, really no benefit. With internet, there's a huge benefit. Because with the internet, you could have a video doorbell, you could have a camera inside of your unit, or most importantly, a Wi-Fi thermostat. So if you're away for the season and your AC stops working, you're going to know about it. So you won't come back to your unit and have black mold all through your ductwork. Also, if there's any, uh, someone comes to your door and is doing anything uh, that they shouldn't be doing, by having a video doorbell, you're going to be able to see that and have a record of that. Uh, in hurricane season, if you're not here and you have just a simple camera inside the unit and there's a storm passing by, at least you'd be able to see and make sure, just have a peace of mind that everything's okay inside your unit. So I would say internet would be more important to have year-round versus TV. Yes, ma'am. On this uh, TV lineup list, uh, are these digital favorites and digital premium, are they extra if you want them? Yes, ma'am. How much... So if you'd like to upgrade to digital favorites, it's $15.99 per month. If you'd like to upgrade to the premium, it's $19.99 per month. Now, every time you upgrade, it comes with the previous package. So if you get favorites, it comes with favorites and access. If you get premium, it comes with premium, favorites, and access. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hi. Um, Hi. I wanted to ask about how long do you think uh, the installation uh, process takes in uh, an area like this? Great question. So how long would it take us to implement? We would like to have six months from the signature on the contract for the first shovel in the ground to the last installation done. So we can move faster uh, if we need to, but the impact on the community is more employees on the property. Just to give you an idea of how fast we can move, we did Boca West, which was 3,600 homes. We did the entire project from first shovel in the ground to last installation done in 12 months. So to do that, we had to perform about 40 installations per day. So that's about 40 plus vehicles riding through the property. So with this property having six months, we could move about four to six, four to six installations per day 
and only have four to six trucks on the property and move through phase by phase. We always break it up into several different segments, but again, we would want about six months to do the entire project. Right. When you say four to six installations a day, is that per building or per unit? No, for, for the team that would be here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not per building, but per team that's here. For okay. the team that's here, they would want to move about anywhere from four to eight installations per day, just honestly. So we'd take the 506 units and divide that by the 20 working days in the month, and that would give us, or also how many months we have, and that would give us an average installation per day. We'd always want to exceed expectations and try to finish the project at least 30 days in advance in case of Murphy's Law, planning for anything that we don't know about. We'd like to have a little extra time for that. So six months would be plenty of time for us. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I'd like to just re-clarify what I was asked before um, about the, the rate in which you're going to be billed for the installation and their monthly rate. Is there going to be any? And if I want to stay with Comcast, can I stay with Comcast for free? So the answer to can you stay with Comcast for free, yeah. if they move to Hotwire, the answer is no. Because Comcast is not the association themselves because they're paying a provider for a bulk package which is basically included in the HOA fees that the unit owner is paying for. So in other words, in other words, if they accept this contract, everybody is forced to get hot wire and you have to pay for the service. Kind of harsh way to put it. Well, but that's, that's the only way I can put it. Understood. That's what it's coming down. That, that's the bottom line. Understood. Understood. It's for free now. I don't have any complaint about it. Podcast. Understood. Let me explain. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. I just want to clarify so you can have a full understanding. I just want to clarify so you can understand. So if they do, if they do decide to move to Hotwire, you as a renter are not paying the HOA fees. That would be on the owner to pay the HOA fees. So inside of those HOA fees, would encompass this entire package of TV and internet. So you as the renter would benefit by not having to pay for internet. Excuse me. So you as the renter would benefit by not having to pay for TV or internet or any installation costs or monthly reoccurring charges for this package right here. So you'd benefit quite a bit because the quality of the service is gonna be a lot higher than what you have now. So you're gonna benefit quite a bit, sir. Understood. Same. We can we can talk a little bit more after if you need a little more clarity. Okay. Hi, I have two questions. Yes, ma'am. One is about the end units that the um, the internet service might not be as good as inside. That was written in italics. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't understand. Which part were you talking about was written in italics? Under the high-speed internet, it says wireless speeds are not guaranteed and can fluctuate based on end users, equipment, and other environments. So end user is every unit owner. So that's. If we're talking about a network, the person actually using the product is the end user. So what it's talking about as far as Wi-Fi speeds, no company guarantees the Wi-Fi speed because there's environmental factors that can't be calculated. But we do guarantee the hardwired speed that goes into the router. This router is uh, it's specced for, to cover up to 2,200 square feet. So we don't foresee any Wi-Fi issues in these units whatsoever. It's going to completely blanket your unit, and most likely when you pull up into your parking space, your phone's probably going to connect to the Wi-Fi because it's going to be very, very strong. So don't, don't worry about where you're located in the building. Thank you. You're welcome. And my other question is probably a pipe dream. If I have internet service up north, and you say I can access different apps, can I access all of these TV channels up north? 
and drop my cable vision up north? So that's not the intent uh, for any provider to eliminate the necessity of needing a provider at each home. Uh, it's actually quite the opposite, but, no, but what we want you to be able to do is still be able to take advantage of some of the programming. And to be completely honest, you're not going to be able to watch everything live, but you're going to be able to watch some things. So if you're up north for the season and let's say you dropped cable vision, you would have to get a smart TV or a fire stick that would allow you to download apps. Any app that's available in your channel lineup that you're paying for down here, you're going to be able to install that app and you're going to be able to watch content on there. Now, a lot of the channel providers are providing some live content on their apps like Showtime. There's like nine Showtime channels. You can watch all the Showtime channels live right on the app. But you also have that on-demand feature where you can watch whatever you want to watch when you can watch it. But it's not designed to completely replace your current provider in another state, but it does allow you to have some access to some of the apps. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Could I, could I clarify the no DVR? Does that mean it's not included in basic or it's not available at all? So it's not included in the basic package. If you'd like to subscribe to DVR, it's $15. Per month? Yes, sir. And so if you don't, and then you said you have uh, on demand, if you don't have the DVR, and that is available for all the channels that you're providing. Yes, we actually use the same exact on-demand provider that Comcast uses, so the, the categories and the selection is exactly the same. So what you have today is pretty much the same as what you'd have with us when it comes to on-demand uh, features and selection. Okay, so with the DVR, if there's a movie on live TV and I record it, I can watch it in a week. You could watch it 30 minutes later if you like, yes. Well, no, but so with on demand, can I go, did you say you can only go back a couple of days? So two different features. On demand is static. So it could change month to month, week to week, but it's static. So those shows, those movies are there for you to watch at your leisure on demand. Replay TV allows you to go backwards in the TV guide when you're on your set top box, not when you're away from the home. When you're in front of your TV, let's say you got caught in South Florida traffic, the show you like to watch started at 8, but you didn't make it home till 8.30. If you go to the TV guide, and that's a replay TV channel, you could just go right back to 8 o'clock. But let's say it was two days ago. You could go right back to two days ago and play it as if it were live. So that replay TV feature is for the set-top box when you're in front of it. When you're away from the home, you have that Fission Go app that's going to give you access to some of the on-demand. And also, if you subscribe to DVR, you're going to be able to watch anything that you record. Okay, so with the DVR, if I have a program that I've watched multiple times and I've saved it on there, I can't do that anymore. Yes, if you, if you subscribe to DVR, what you would do is that program that you like, you would set that okay. up to record either in a series or either every single time it comes on. Uh, so you can, you can watch it anywhere. Yeah. And the DVR service is, is service, not necessarily a, a box. That's a great point. So yes, it's a cloud-based service. It is not a physical hard drive inside of the box doing the recording. It's actually recording on our network, which allows you to watch it from any of the boxes, play it back from any of the boxes, any of your uh, smart devices as well. Thank you. You're welcome. If you do re uh, pay the $15 a month for recording privileges, how many programs can you record at a single time? Great question. So the question was, if you do subscribe to DVR service, how many programs can you record at once? So because it's cloud-based, you can record infinite channels at once. The network does not care how many that you record at once. The limitation comes in to the size of the recording that you subscribe to. So it starts in 50-hour intervals. So you'd be able to record 50 shows that are one hour apiece at one time. Make sense? I'd like to, to drill down again on, on this app thing. I'm, with, with the current Comcast system, we can watch all the channels via the cable box. I've got a Roku TV. 
Comcast actually provides the entire channel lineup as, as an app. So on my Roku, I can either, I can either, I could go to the app and actually watch the entire channel lineup as an app. The, the digital access, is that available as an app? So, um, I mean, you, you would start talking about Roku and Fire Sticks, and then you, I, I think you said that it's not going to be available, at least not yet, as an app. So, I mean, if I go back up north, I, I, I've got a Roku stick, and I also have a, um, you know, Chromecast. So, is, is the digital access available as an app, or does everything just have to be, you know, kind of cast with a Chromecast if I take this stuff up north? Right, so it's going to have to be cast with a Chromecast because the app for Roku and Fire TV and Smart TVs is not available. As of yet, it's still in development. But even with your current provider, if you download the Xfinity TV app and you're outside of your home network, you're not going to get your full channel lineup. They're going to limit some of the things that you can watch because the intent is not for you to get by without paying two providers. But yes, you're still going to be able to take advantage of a lot of your channel lineup through the independent apps from uh, each channel provider. Okay. So as you go through the channel lineup, the popular channels that you like, they have an app. So go on Roku and download those apps. Right. You'd log in with your Hotwire username and password, and you'd be able to watch the things that they have available on the apps. So if I was using Chromecast, would I get everything on the digital access? You'd, you'd basically get access with Chromecast to the app, but on your television screen. But again, you're limited on live television watching, but you're still going to be able to set recordings if you subscribe to DVR okay. and watch anything. Really, the, the workaround to that is to subscribe to DVR, Anything that you want to watch that's live, just set the recording and start watching it 30 minutes later. Okay. Uh, you said that on the front that if you subscribe to <clears throat> Digital Premium, you also got everything above that. If you go to the back with the sports package, how much is that extra? And what does that include? Does that just include the sports package? Right. That's an a la carte upgrade, the sports package. So it is just the sports package in between those two red lines. Okay. And that's $19.99 per month. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, just to reiterate, if you upgrade TV tiers, because there are several tiers, you have access, favorites, premium, and then the works. Each one encompasses the package before it. So if you get the works, you get every single channel that we have available. If you get premium, you get everything above premium. So that would be premium, favorites, and access. All right? Any more? Can you just get the So the question was, can you just get the NFL channel? Which one are we talking about? The one in the sports package, the red zone? Can you just get red zone or do you have to get the whole package? You have to get the whole package. If there's a channel inside of a package, you have to get the whole package. Keep in mind, though, you do get the NFL network as part of the basic package. Not sure which team that you're looking for, but uh, NFL red zone uh, would be $19.99 per month for the entire sports package. Could you, could you repeat the, the uh, prices for again for the, uh, what is it, the, the favorites and the premium? So at this point, if you wanted to upgrade to favorites, it would be $15.99 per month for the favorites package, which would give you access and favorites. If you wanted to upgrade to premium, it would be $19.99 per month. And that would be premium, favorites, and access for $19.99 per month. Works. So the works package encompasses every cable channel and every premium channel. A la carte premium channels, for instance, HBO, if you wanted to subscribe to HBO by itself, would be $15.99 per month. But the works package comes with every single premium channel. That package is $74.99. That would give you HBO, Showtime, Stars, Cinemax, Encore, every single one, which typically each one is $15.99 by itself. Yes, sir. And all these upgraded packages, if you're seasonal, you can just turn them off when you leave? Yes, sir. Okay. No, there's no fee to turn them back on. You could do that as many times per month or as many times per year as you like. Uh, if you do it one time, you will be billed for the 30 days, though. Hi. Uh, I'm just looking at the digital access, and it says um, subscribe to HD service and get. 
Totally included with That's the package. That's included. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You could absolutely. So the question was, are you committed to taking a premium channel for any specific period of time? It's for 30 days, for one month. So if you sign up for HBO, you'll get billed at uh, $15.99, and you have it for that 30-day window. Uh, if you want to cancel the next month, you absolutely can. No cancellation fee. Any more? Hi. Uh, this is. This is going to be a little hard for me because I don't understand anything about um, technical s stuff. Um, and right now, uh, do you, would somebody, like I don't know what streaming is, I don't know the difference between Wi-Fi, and I'm very limited because of a medical problem, but that's besides the point. What I have now is if I go on demand and then they show you the different movies that you could watch, most of them now are Peacock and Hulu, and every channel almost on that I'm trying to watch with movies you have to, subs it says you have to subscribe to them. And I don't have internet because I don't know how to use a computer. <laughs> and uh, I was going to get it, but I was told that you offer that with the package, right? Yes, ma'am. And we don't pay for that? So you are not going to be paying Hotwire directly for it, but it would be included in the HOA fees. So it would be one of the amenities that the association is offering. You would have internet and TV included with your unit. Okay, so as far as you and the specifics, as far as learning how to stream, learning how to log into those apps, we have personnel that are going to come to your house and sit with you and spend as much time as it takes to teach you how to use the apps if there's an app that you are interested in or a movie that you're interested in, how to find that specific movie. Uh, and also there's a lot of free movies that you don't need a subscription for that you could absolutely watch. We're going to teach you how to do all of that. Somebody will come into my house and teach me. They will sit there with you. I actually used to do it uh, myself. Uh, and we sit with the client as long as it takes. If you need it several times, we will come several times. If you're seasonal and you need it every single time that you come down, we'll come to your home whenever you need us. Oh, wonderful, because I live here all year, and I'm, I'm trying to find out if there's somebody here even that can teach me this. Absolutely. It, it seems like but we'll probably need to just send somebody. They can come over whenever you need them. So we're here for that specifically. We have personnel that that is their job title is an educator, just to teach people how to use the remotes. You're welcome. Uh, it, I'm looking at the list here, and it says subscribe to HD services. How much more is the HD services? It is totally included. Every, everywhere where it says subscribe to HD is included in the package. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. They just haven't removed it from that sheet yet. Yeah, I've asked marketing to remove it because it makes it so confusing. Yeah. It should just say HD channels. That's, that's all it should say. I know you said it before, but I, like that. if I get the landline, and I think you said it before, I have all my notes here. You can keep your same phone number. Like I have AT&T, for example. I have a phone number here. I can keep the same phone number through Hotwire? Yes, sir. Okay, that's what I thought you said. Thank you. You're welcome. But Jason, if you would expand on that as to um, how to make sure you keep that same phone Correct. number. Correct. So that is a really good point. So if you're going to keep your same phone number, do not cancel your service until we've done your installation. So let's say you're with AT&T and we schedule you for an installation on Friday, but you call AT&T today and cancel, you just lost your phone number. So you, may, you have to keep your phone service active until we do the actual transfer of the number, which is installing it at your home.
Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Hi, Jason. Hey. A uh, quick question on the red zone again. Is that something you could turn on just for X number of months and turn off? or? Absolutely. So that's in the sports package. So you could turn on the sports package in theory for 30 days and then turn it off for the next. Thanks. No cancellation fees. Uh, it's $19.99. Less than a dollar a day. Yes, sir. Out of curiosity, I'd just like to know how much the HOA dues would go up with this whole Un unfortunately, I can't, ex I can't discuss uh, any types of uh, package fees or anything. You'd have to reach out directly to board members to discuss that, okay? Okay. All right. Andrew. You're welcome. One Thanks more? for coming. Who decides if we go with you? One second. Yes, sir. Oh, are you, you going to turn these units over in phases, or will the whole complex be turned over? Like the same Great question. Thing. So it will be done in phases. We will start uh, doing the underground construction in one phase. Once all the fiber is in the ground, that team moves to the next phase. Behind them are the fiber splicers and the quality insurance, the quality assurance inspectors testing. Once they test, they release it for installation. So as we're still building different sections, we'll be installing uh, following those underground construction teams. Uh, you want me to answer that question real quick? Yeah. So she asked who's going to be making the decision on if they move forward or the community moves forward with the package. That is up to the board members, so they would be making that decision. So if you have any uh, questions, please reach out to the board. Any more? Yeah. Um, will they? Uh, <laughs> I forgot my question. <laughs> um, let me think. Oh, will we maintain our cable? Uh, connection while they are doing the installation of the lines and is there any period of time where we would be at, without cable and internet great uh, question through the installation great question so while we're doing the underground construction we're not going to be utilizing any of the current providers lines everything that we put in is parallel to what's already there so you will not have any downtime until we come to do the physical installation so there may be a short period of time when it, and to be definitive 30 minutes to an hour where you may not have TV and internet service while they're physically disconnecting cable boxes, putting in the new ones, putting in the new router, uh, but you're not going to be down for a long period of time, no. You're welcome. Well, thank you, everyone. Yes, Russ, thank you, you for having more? me. Thank you for coming. You want to just... Thank you. Just... Good questions? Yeah, well, that's why I just had some... I didn't mean to take up your time.